Please welcome to the stage our musical director, Galen Lemon. Now the next two pieces were chosen particularly by um, uh, particularly for this uh, concert. Is there any particular reason why you chose Limerick Daydreams and Immortal Dreams for tonight's? Um, well, I love both these pieces that um, we we've, we've played these uh, performed these pieces before, but Immortal Dream is actually a, a poem uh, about a poem music uh, set to a poem um, uh, of a son to um, his mother and it was, it was about the potato famine in uh, Scotland. And, um, and so I kind of felt like that during this concert we needed to have some kind of piece of music that we remember the, the people in this world who have passed on from cancer. Not everybody, unfortunately, uh, when they've battled cancer have, have survived and, and won that battle. Um, and so I felt like there was a piece of music that we needed to have on this program where we remembered those, those individuals. Almost everybody uh, knows somebody that has uh, suffered from cancer. Uh, my father passed away from cancer, so did my mom. And um, uh, I kind of felt like we just needed a piece that would remember them. So the, the second piece that we're gonna play, Immortal Dream, is a piece uh, in, intended to honor those those people who have been victims of cancer and have passed on. Um, the first 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 June Limerick Daydreams, um, it, you could look at it as let's say a journey. Um, um, there have been uh, lots of people that have had cancer and they've survived, and um, I think that this piece kind of takes you through some of the emotions that somebody would have about first learning about having cancer. And uh, I love the name of, of the group that we're supporting today, New Hope, because I think everybody, regardless of what situation it is uh, that you deal with, you know, hope is so, so important. And we all have to believe uh, in, in hope and uh, wanting the, the best outcome. It doesn't always happen, but we always have hope in our hearts that everything's gonna turn out the right way. And so I think this piece uh, kind of has a little journey to it. It starts off kind of slow, um, maybe somebody thinking about having to, 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 to have this battle. And then it ends up, I think, really upbeat and uh, fast and loud at the end. Uh, as, uh, so I think you can kind of remember the people or maybe you know somebody who's actually uh, faced cancer and then actually uh, beat it. And uh, so that's what those two pieces are about. Thank you. Dedicated to Dr. Court McLaren and the UNCG Percussion Ensemble, Limerick Daydreams won second place at the 2005 Percussive Arts Society International Composition Contest. It is based on the Irish reel Highway to Limerick, which is a traditional Irish folk dance. It has 10 percussion parts and runs for 12 minutes. Limbic Daydreams is followed by Immortal Dream. The title is from a verse of the traditional Irish ballad, Old Skibbereen. It's a very sad and passionate piece describing the Great Irish Famine of 1846 to 1847, which is recognized as the worst humanitarian disaster in Europe of the 19th century, according to Skibbereen Heritage Center. Skibbereen was one of the most severely stricken regions, and thousands of people perished. The traditional ballad is about a father telling his son of his time in Skibbery. And the immortal dream verse goes like this. Your mother too, God rest her soul, lay on the snowy ground. She fainted in her anguish, seeing the desolation around. She never rose, but passed away from life to immortal dreams. And that's another reason I left old Skibbery. Here's the California Percussion Ensemble performing The Brick Daydreams and Immortal Dream.
Thank you.